AT&T Rochester Civic App Challenge is a two-month virtual hackathon for upstate New York software developers to use open data to build smartphone apps to serve community needs. Here to tell us about the event is Lisa Derner and Tim Duffy, and that was a mouthful that I just passed along there, so tell us a little more about what's this all about. Well, it's a community collaboration between AT&T, Digital Rochester, High Tech Rochester, RIT, and Hack Upstate. And we were approached by AT&T really as an opportunity to spotlight what these technologists are doing and the importance of building mobile apps in the community for the government and for businesses. And we're, we're doing a two-month virtual app, a hackathon, which allows folks other than just students to get involved. Mm -hmm. Typical hackathons might be 48 hours. Mm -hmm. We're hoping to engage some companies to get involved, spend some time on the weekends, still be able to do their day job, and get involved in this event. Yeah, so you have uh, local talent that stays here. It might be interesting to stay in here, like Tim Duffy, a graduate right. of RIT, and you're involved in this hackathon as well. Tell us what you're up to. Uh, so the application that I'm working on is called Monroe Minutes, where it goes to different municipal municipalities all across Monroe County and takes all the meeting minutes, puts it in one place so you can search through them just like you would on Google. Yes. So you can look for topics that were discussed uh, at town meetings without having to go to them. Yeah, so there's something that definitely somebody in the news business that would be interested in doing as well. And so, and you're, you're going for a big reward here at the end of the you know this challenge as well I mean it's not it's not small pocket change uh, no the the full amount of award money is eighteen thousand dollars and there's two different categories existing apps and new apps with first place being five thousand yeah, dollars right. yeah so people need to understand that the apps themselves they don't necessarily have to be big money makers you know angry birds I mean this is something that civic oriented right. help out the community right and so this is what, I mean, this is the Monroe Minutes is like. And have you seen that, too, is the, from the well, spectrum of people? Well, I haven't seen. We have about 50 people okay. registered so far. And I'm one of the judges. I have not seen gotcha. what's happening gotcha. yet. Um, actually, this is the first one I've heard about. So it's going to be exciting to see what people come up with. Yeah. And, and, it, and as Tim said, it can be things that are already established, they've already been working right. on, and then brand new as well, those two categories. And, and it's not too late to sign up. Even though it started in February, you have till close to the end of this month. And if they are interested in signing up, what should right. they do here? A April 23rd, they can go to attrockhackupstate.com and they can find all the information there. Yeah, so a April 23rd is actual cutoff, so right. get to it. So if you have an existing app that's already happening right now, find out more about the AT&T Rochester Civic App Challenge. Just go to our website, whc.com, if you missed that uh, website that you just shared with us. Great. Lisa, Tim, thank you for joining us, and thank you for watching Rock City tonight. We hope you join us again for News 10 NBC at 11. Have a good night.